Gentlemen, this episode of the Mob Love Podcast is brought to you as always by Manscaped. Manscaped, the number one supplier in male grooming. <laughs> All right, we're coming into the winter. I know you want to hang on to your her, get a little bit warmer, but you can't because it's dirty. Shave your ballocks. Oh, it's coming up to Christmas. Shaving my balls, I'm gonna get manscaped. Twenty percent off with the code Mob Blood. Right? You don't want to be around the Christmas fire with Harry Bollocks. You might no. catch fire. Shave them off. Shave them off. They have the new beard trimmer that they give me the name of and I can't remember. <laughs> the hedge they give you? Hold on. Hedge I did not get a beard trimmer. Hedge, no, the name of it. They give me the name of it. Oh, that's all coming out. She so got free products. I, I, didn't, didn't, get, get I didn't get free you products. You motherfucker. I don't can tell by the <laughs> cut your wee face shaving. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. And he wouldn't have done that if he did use if the I had used the Manscaped it, you won't we're now slicing Paddy for every week that you don't buy a Manscaped product he will get sliced yeah it's AIDS yeah me too yeah. <laughs> welcome to the last ever Manscaped breed <laughs> go on to the go on to if, you don't want, if you don't want AIDS use Manscaped <laughs> and we can get your money off these AIDS free racers <laughs> Manscaped.com mob blood 20%, 20 percent off. Don't, not, not, not 20. Don't, break. don't fucking not not this again. <laughs> Manscaped twenty. Mud blood twenty percent off. Fuck you've got me wrong. Just mud blood. <laughs> just because just mud blood. Because mud blood twenty gets you nothing. Yeah. But <laughs> mud blood just mud blood mud blood. It took us four months to know that. Shave your ballots. Shave your ballots. We give 20% off, shave your ballocks. Mud blood, mud blood. Enjoy this week's Manscaped. episode. Grab it off shit, Don't just walk in and punch someone. <laughs> Fuck a lot of myth, get in the cunt. <laughs> and through it, oh, she offers me protection. A lot of love and erection. <laughs> but she- I know loads of disabled people who are just their kids. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mud Blood Podcast with myself, William Thompson, and as always, the beautiful Paddy McDonald. How you doing, bro? I'm dead on. We're just sitting here for five minutes because Willie fucking was us. <laughs> the fear. Right. The fear in his right. eyes. The fear in his eyes. I'll re-record this intro <laughs> ten times if I fucking have to until you get bored of doing it. I will do this as a story on my Instagram. This will be the next hour. This will be the next hour of the show. It's just us doing the intro and getting the game. <laughs> uh, do you know what? You get an excuse for saying it too because you... Uh, yeah, but still... <laughs> it's not going out. <laughs> no balls. No, no. No. Not one ball. Uh, no. 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 No balls. There's that, no. I'm saying, there, you know, you don't have to... Your personal grievances don't have to come out on a podcast every time. They don't. I just think when you're I don't talking, like it when that Can happens. you see that microphone in that? No. I just don't think... Uh, see if you've got something to say, just fucking say it. I disagree. Say it to them. I disagree with... Have you said it to them? I will. I will. <laughs> Are, you really? <laughs> Are you really? Are you really? Are you really, Willie? No. Yeah. Can't remind say me, it. Remind me to put it on my phone. Is there a kettle? Can you boil a wee kettle? Or I filled it up, but I didn't know where the wee stand for the kettle was. What a cunt you are. What Can for filling say, up the kettle? Just say, what a diva. Like, you were over there, you could have... I didn't know where the wee power station was. The wee power station. What? That's what... What do you call it? I didn't know where the wee power station I was. Didn't, it's it there. Was I didn't know it was there. Just a fucking diva. I'm not making tea for it. Oh, I'm going to fill the kettle, but not put I'm it not on gonna, because I'm, I'm a diva? I'm not going to put the fucking... What are you Soundproofing mean? up because I didn't read the label. Uh, well, you can put it up now. It won't work. Alright, we can't put it up now. It won't work. Apologies, folks. We've had soundproofing for four weeks, but it's been stuck in transit in yeah. fucking East Belfast and yeah. Sheila's house. Fucking and then it gets brought the day, and it's like, oh, we can't stick this up straight away. I just read the fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, I didn't read the instructions. Needs erred for yeah. fucking two days. I didn't read the instructions. And then he, he comes in and starts calling other people cunts when, he, <laughs> when he's an actual cunt <laughs> for not reading the fucking instructions. <laughs> How you been anyway, bro? Oh, good, how are you? Oh, good, man. Oh, good. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Very fucking... I haven't seen you... I barely see you on the knees because we're fucking travelling the world. The world? AKA well, I was in UK. Galway and Cork, like. You... have a bone to pick with you because I'm very upset that you met one of my favourite comedians ever. That I done a gig with Jim Jeffries. You fucking... Bar- like, fuck... 
Amazing. Well done. Go fuck yourself. It was... I didn't even know it was happening. Oh, it's even worse. It was literally like, surprise, boom. And I was like, whoa. Did he just drop it? Surprise, surprise. I think they didn't tell people just for the sake of not telling people. Do you, yeah. do you get what I mean? Yeah. To cause the thing. But the mad bit about it was when I walked in to have a, have a, have a drink, John Bishop was there and he was fucking sound. He apparently is lovely. I've met him a couple of times, but that was like the first one-on-one. And it was strange because it was me, him and Al Porter. And it went in the... Dream team? Went in the straight... Uh, went in the straight... Like, they were talking about the Irish language and stuff because... I never done the Irish language gig on the Thursday night, so they were giving me a bit of shit why I did not do it and stuff like that. And I was like, I didn't have enough time and I couldn't be there on the Thursday night, so that yep. was why I didn't do it. Yep. So we started talking about it and John was talking about it and I was saying, Paddy facts. And John basically was like, fuck off. <laughs> and I was like, no, that that's that's where it came from. And he's like, <laughs> fuck off. Like, <laughs> And what were you telling them? So in America, when they say so long, uh-huh. they think there's three reasons why they think that Americans say so long, right? right? And the main fact that seems to fucking corroborate what happens is when the Irish went there and they said so long, and people were like, so long, and so long, so then so long came about. Okay. So that, it's the main, they don't have, like, actual proof. Uh-huh. Is that where it came from? But that's the main... That's what they think. It's, it's like, the one apparently. that makes the most sense. Right. So he went and he Googled it. And he came back and he's like, sorry, I actually Googled that, the toilet. And it fucking seems to be the crack. And he says, if you have any more, you can tell me. And then I told him about hooligans. The word hooligan comes from a family of hooligans. Right. There's two stories. There's one that was a bouncer in London who was nasty. And they called him the hooligan. Right. His name was Hulahan, and the other one was there was a family in Liverpool called the Hulahans, and they were that bad. The police would say, "Go and get the Hulahans," and then just got the stage where it became a hooligan. Right. And that's where the word came from. Okay. So then he went and googled that. He came back and he was like, two out of two." He doesn't. Know, he doesn't need to go away to Google it. He, he, he can't can. just be. No. He, 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 he Hang did. on. Let me go to Google. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me go to <laughs> Mister Google. Google. He did Google it. <laughs> Because he wasn't believing them. Yeah. And he was like, no, I won't. And then he says, if you get any more. And I was like, I'm not giving you any more. <laughs> I says, you can get some more when you come on the podcast. So, what's he's agreed to do? Oh, awesome. And awesome. Jim Jeffries, by the way. Oh, man, I'll come. I'll come. And my God. No, no, I it's love. just me and him. No, I'll be there. I'll be in the room. It's no, happening. No. No, I'll be in no. the room. You don't need to be there. No, I'll be there. I'll be there. You. We'll, we'll wait until you're doing some pilot. Yeah, no, I'll be there. With your mates. And I'll we'll, be uh, I will. I will be there. <laughs> I said uh, I was doing wrong for Reg D. Hunter I said to him as well next time he's back in Ireland he was like yeah so they say yeah yeah just yeah yeah yeah. he's a very chilled out man as well just yeah yeah just yeah 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 Yeah, I've never yeah and a lot of N words really I've never been called the N words so much in my life are you one I'm not no but he calls everybody I've never been called it so much in my life is that right yeah yeah even white people yeah he loves the word one Loves it. Well, I suppose What's he that? can use it. I can't. I was Galway. No, you absolutely can't. Don't start. Oh, unreal. Really good. Unreal. <laughs> Tom, that's what John Bishop was called everybody as well. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> um, good crack them. Ah, oh, what a festival! Like it was just amazing. The whole the whole thing of it was just class. So I done my solo show at six o'clock, and it was on for an hour and a half. So it was just like a half an hour of me just roasting everybody, and then done the show and it was just I haven't done that show since the waterfront so was it I don't know times two uh, so I really love that show I love that show more than I love my new show yeah I don't you know when you just love a show and you just go I really like that one that's my feelings towards my next one you love your next one yeah I love the idea of it it wasn't even the idea because that but it definitely did have a theme with that one and, and went with it and it worked yeah I uh, I used to shit on themes all the time. Be like, oh, just get up and be funny. I, I like doing a theme now. I think a it theme ties it. it yes, it together. runs. It runs it all into something, so yeah. people feel it's not just a wee bit of this and a wee bit of. And yeah. when I look back now, I, I watched the Billy Connolly thing, and I just go, he didn't do themes. But when you watch back, it was. Yeah. But yeah. you didn't realize it at the time. 
yeah, I used to be like that too, but like, you know, fucking like CK or whatever, I'd be like, oh, he's not doing things, then you watch back, you're like, this whole hour is about him being a dad. Yeah. So he doesn't announce the thing, but he absolutely has one. And it, this being so content from a writer's perspective, it kind of makes it easier. 100%. To be like, oh, that doesn't fit, fuck yeah. that out. Or, yeah. oh, yeah. that's a good end. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. What's Jim Jeffries like, by the way? Mate. So sad. Just... Like, not one bit of a cunt about him. Like, it was oh, just like, yeah, mate, just fucking, yeah, yeah, it's just a normal, just as normal as you'll meet. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I have met lesser comedians that have been cunts. It's never the massive ones who are cunts. No, well, sometimes it can be, but. In, in my like, experience, no, it's, like, the it, ones who are made are sound. It was so funny because they gave me all these free tickets for drinks. And so I was just going, here, 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 because I wasn't fucking drinking. Yeah. And, uh, John Pace is going, Who the fuck are you getting all these fucking tickets? <laughs> and I was like, I'm printing them myself. And he's like, Are oh, you fu- you must be fucking doing it. Like, Where the fuck is all these tickets coming from? And I was just like, get him a drink, get him a drink. And I was just bad every all the comedians drinks, just throwing drinks, and he was going, What the fuck is going on? I have proper like Watching you go away, do you know when like you're not invited on a night out? I'm like, oh, fucking wish you was there. Yeah, it, like, I, I get that written. all the time with certain festivals and stuff like that. But it's a good let me just say next year. Let me like, just cool. let me just say I've had to put the work in to get in there. Oh, oh yeah, I'm not being like you know, like it wasn't even like I had to because they didn't know who I was. Yeah, so I had to drive down to Galway and do a 15 minute slot for fucking. A hundred fucking euro. Yeah. And build and build and build. Which and by like, the time you pay that petrol, yeah, you're losing you're money. You're losing almost. money. But that's the work I had to put in for the past three years. Yeah. And it's now I got the stage where I've got booked for four festivals off my performance. Uh John and Jim I think seen five, ten minutes of it right. of my show, really enjoyed it. And then other people. So it's been really worthwhile for me to do it. Next yeah. year they're gonna put me in the bigger room. Oh, from the good. solo show and then I'll be on bigger shows again next well, year good. so I'll be down for longer so tea please tea. Tea, tea I think he was offering his coffee or he's just going I don't know what this is no <laughs> I literally only have I literally only have one coffee a day if even oh really yeah. I, I'll have about five green teas so uh, peppermint tea and black tea you yeah. pull it off no, there it you just, go it felt a bit weird <laughs> Said to all the fellas. <laughs> no, yeah, it's a What's lot of work. Goes in. That's, I'm not being like saying you. Have no, to be no, like, but I get. Well, I, I used I to. I, I and I'm still like that with some festivals, like the Cat Laughs Festival. It's just always been one I've wanted to do. Uh-huh. It's like people go to me, "Why do you bother fucking MC in the Empire?" It's not the money. It's just yeah. I've always wanted to do. Plus, also, you know, that's a reg- regular stage time. But I've always wanted to, uh, since I've seen Paddy Keely emceeing it, it was yeah. one of my things in my head. If I ever got to the stage of emceeing this, it'd be fucking amazing. Yeah. And now I'm a regular MC. What is Cat Laughs? Cat Laughs is a festival in Kilkenny. Right. And I don't know what way it's going because it hasn't been this big in the past couple of years. But you would see all the top comedians coming to Ireland and then yeah. they play a big football match and all. It just yeah. looks fucking good. Yeah, there it's is just... something about that. Like, you know, we do the, the bigger venues here, but there's something special when you're, you still get that little farm boy feeling. Oh, fuck When oh, you're on a bill. Listen, with someone it was like, huge, in, like, Galway, oh God. in Galway, like there the other night, you're just with everybody. It was one of them ones. It was one of them moments. People go, there's an imposter thing we have. Yeah. And when you do a festival, thank you very much. When you do a festival like that, there's an element of fuck. Do you know what? I'm actually a part of this. It's one of those things. I'm actually like, who you who have you gig with, and if you can drop one of those names, they're like, oh fuck, all right. But like, I I get big gig with big names before I even was selling tickets for myself. Yeah, but I still always you always felt like you weren't. Whereas people were coming in and going, and they knew who you were. Yeah. You know, yeah. it was one of them ones. It was one. It's like Avi Gardens when I done it in the summer. It was always one I wanted to do. Had never got to do it, and then this year they invited me down. Went down, had a smashing gig, and it looked like I was being the prick because I fucking marched in, getting photographs the whole way over to the gig. Then everyone came out of the gig to get photographs of me. So who was on behind me wasn't too happy. It looked like, but I didn't ask people to leave. But it was just like, and then getting all, the, and then walking out again, and yeah. people were like, fuck. And it was so it it looked like a diva thing, but it wasn't. It was just I was going home because I was going away the next day. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it was, but I felt 
I felt brilliant. It was like, fuck, I actually feel a part of this festival, do you know? Yeah, you don't feel like the kid they're just giving five minutes of pitch yeah. time to. That's what I mean. Yeah, you feel like a starter. Yeah, so yeah, like, I a, and then after that, they were like, oh, next year we'll definitely have these any other longer set, and they'll be in a bigger room. And, and it's just good to get told that. I think sometimes, especially in places where they don't know you, so when they get to see you and see what you can do, I think, like us all in Ember this year. Yeah. I yeah. think people sort of went, they, they are fucking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I find And there was no girls in Edinburgh, by the way, so that's why I'm... There was no... Who, was there any girls from over here? Chloe? I'm yeah. talking about X. Get, no, 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 no. So, Mommy Bottom uh, was over. Mommy Bottom was, was over. Serena was over, so sorry. Yeah, yeah. So there was a girl, but Serena wasn't with us. So no, we didn't why. see her, really, no. But um, I know she was over. But that's what I mean. So they would have seen that the, the quality of the... Because I said boys, or I'm just fucking oh, saying yeah, yeah. it. No, no, but no, it was no. the, the scene the people from over here, and they were going, fuck, do you know what? And we all sold tickets like fuck. And done yeah, that surprised me. I was I was expecting like you and Kieran to sell. I was expecting. I was surprised that everyone across the board did I very wasn't, well. to be honest. Not, not, I didn't expect to sell out of any. I just, yeah. that, that blew me away. I was just like, fucking hell. That, that was every night when I walked in and seen the chalkboard, I was like, that's nuts. It's that looking at the chalkboard when you land in your venue to see if you sold out. It's like going to get your 11 plus results every day. <laughs> it, it is. It's, it's like seeing if you get into the hurling team in school. Yeah. yeah. The like, I'm up. Yes. It's close. Um, um, I was in, what did I do? I was in Dublin. What'd you do? Liberty Hall. Oh, with Reginald D. Hunter. That's where the odds the these to raise, wasn't it? Was it? I think Liberty Hall's where they. It's a lovely lo- venue. I'll give them that. from. Could be right. I'm not sure. We make sense. There's good acoustics in that room. That's a good room to launch from. We need to get it. We need to get a fucking dude. One of them we sound boards. Yeah. And then if I say something, <laughs> we, we, we get a thing. Patty facts. We'll get a thing at John Bishop going, get the fuck. <laughs> yeah. And then the countdown noise. <laughs> did it, did it, did it, did it. I've got like 30 <laughs> seconds to work yeah. out if he's t- talking shit or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But you have to leave the room to Google it for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to the Google room. I think, I, think he, I think he just didn't want to pull his phone out in front of me and go, let me Google this culture. Uh, uh, <laughs> once he seen there was two fucking good facts about it, he spent a lot of time with me after that. <laughs> Andrew Maxwell was there too. He's always fucking great. I, I've heard he's great crack to be a uh, I've never just, met him. Just though. a lovely fella. Yeah. Just a lovely fella. On the pants? He, he was, yeah. I don't know. No. Was he serious zero? I may be talking out of turn there. He may have been zero zero. John Bishop was zero zero too. Oh really? Uh, what about Jim? Oh, he was drinking. I, his <laughs> reputation. He's not watching this. No, he Jim Jeremy's not watching this. <laughs> but you know what? His stuff was great because now he's married and he has a kid. Yeah. I really enjoyed his stuff. Yeah. Because I could relate to it. Yeah. But he was so funny. He's, like, one of the reason he, he was talking about fucking getting caught wanking in the house it was so funny it just sounded like something I would talk about yeah. <laughs> what, what but the whole thing about the joke was should I be telling this on I wouldn't I wouldn't give away the material in case someone's listening I don't know but it, it's he, he tells you to go away it's mad because <laughs> but he tells you to go away and google somebody a famous person who done blackface Right. Is that a fart? What? It's me laughing. <laughs> no, it's not like a fart. No. I know. Oh, it's like, I didn't fart. Like? I'm going. Yeah. Um, it was my throat stuck. But he tells you to go and Google somebody who done blackface, right? The premise of it all is that he was having the wank in the house and his wife comes in and she pulls his phone off him. And when she pulls the phone off him, instead of it coming up the fucking porn hub, it goes on to the blackface. So he gets caught wanking to <laughs> this famous person with blackface. <laughs> <laughs> and he finishes the bass he goes I think it's sick put him in yeah. <laughs> I once read the same in Glasgow and he just took the mic farted it into it and I went let's see Michael McIntyre do that <laughs> worst Jim Jeffries ever why is he a fucking southern gentleman like, yeah he was like, well, he let's like see in, Michael McIntyre do that he said like he was in Pride and Prejudice he sounded like Fall Going Leghorn why like, have you been a slave for so <laughs> long in my plantation <laughs> Jim Jaffrey <laughs> as soon as I did I was like that's not his voice but I've started so I'll finish one of my favourite bits he ever did was have you ever seen the 20 minute story he does about taking his friend with can I just tell you I turned him off when he he done a story about uh, 
Afghanistan, they shot the helicopter. <laughs> I, I never watched them again. Really? I love that story. Never watched them again. I was like, doing gigs for a bitch. I, I knew that's why you <laughs> turned him off. Did you not see the bit he does? Where no, he's like, no. At don't the gigs for bits. Fuck at the start of that, he talks about it. He's like, he's back in the good books, but he's like, when I'm in America, I tell them I do it for the troops and because I love the country. But because you're my audience, I'll be honest, I do it for money. Yeah. <laughs> he t- he, but he did the story about. Um, is there any biscuits over? Yeah, there is. He had a friend with MS and he takes him to a prostitute. Right. You ever seen that story? No. Fucking one of the. Turned him off while he told you. Oh, it's. Turn him off. Fucking he's on the truth. Did you actually turn that off, cousin? You are shocked at that. I'm not. Sh- no, I'm not. But I thought you'd be able as a comic to be like, oh, okay, I can look past that. No. No? No. Why would I? Why would I watch somebody who does gigs for people that go out and murder people? I don't I get? I, I said talk to you every week for fuck's sake. <laughs> you have to do the feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said that. Don't get angry. I was your brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he went. You do the feeling. <laughs> the issue I, I don't give a fuck <laughs> I don't give one fuck <laughs> can I just stay at the feeling in June anyway <laughs> <laughs> the feeling audience isn't full of ex-volunteers not full of it just the security they're, 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 yeah 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 <laughs> organisers man <laughs> the organisers aren't no I like yeah, it was great fun but I don't just the VIP section <laughs> yeah. remember I've done that <laughs> what was it you did can you tell us no no <laughs> it, said, it must be wild if he won't tell you I said a joke at one of the nights mm. and I get cancelled for four or five years Okay, I'll ask you what it was off air. <laughs> that was very funny, Sean. <laughs> How long were you there for then? Three, four days? Always a fucking lovely city, man. One day. One day? Mm-hmm. Stay over? Mm-hmm. Put you up? Sweet, you good. <sighs> you dirty bitch. Oh, Bang, that's, that's good. So sweet. That's class. Like just a sofa in the reception. <laughs> <laughs> I told you last year. <laughs> I love because if you did that, no one's stopping you. Oh, I'm going to sleep here, right? Leave me alone. Everyone's going to leave him. He'll be fine. I have slept in sofas and hotels. Um, But uh, when I went down the last time, they put me above the bar. Do you ever stay in the wee rooms above the bar? No. I don't think I've stayed in the There was a guy ever. in the top bunk. But because I went in, there was bunk beds. There was a guy in the top bunk. So my show was like in a half an hour, so I just went, I don't know, maybe he's not a comedian or whatever. Right. And then I went back, done the show and came back again. Your mom was still in bed sleeping. And I was like, fuck. Maybe it's just not a comedian. Do you know what I mean? And then it turned out he was staying two rooms up and got up, walked out of the room and then went into the room where I was. And I had just been cleaned, your woman didn't lock the door. So he just walked in, half sleeping, got back into, but get into the bunk above my. <laughs> so when I told him about it, like the apologies and all, but so they really looked after me this year. Right, okay. Okay, fair enough. That's very funny though. Did you go nuts at him or were you like, I can't leave him? What do you mean? Did you be like, get the fuck up? No, I didn't wake him at all. I didn't know him. Right, okay. I just thought, fuck it, maybe I'm sure I'm another comedian. Aye. I, I didn't look to see what he even looked like. I didn't know what he was. He was fucking sleeping. So I put my bag in the room and fucking <laughs> went and done my gig. <laughs> and I was worried about my bag because it was going, fuck, I can't even lock that door. Because if I lock that door and the fella doesn't have his key or something. Aye. Because it was a proper wee like, bed and breakfast sort of thing. So Fair enough. But damn, um, funny. Enough. But not far, Fox, man. Have you ever had anything metal like happen? Like... In a hotel? Yeah. Not, not, fuck my voice changed there. Not really. Um, I stay in hostels, which some people are like, how could you ever? I know, he really does scrub and save. Like. You get left alone. Do you know what I mean? Like, no one really does. Do you put the disabled badge up? 
No, it's just imprinted. Uh, did we Google that to see if you got discount in hotels because you're disabled? Fuck, I don't think we did, but look that up. Because you know you get free membership with EasyChat if you're disabled, you know what? Fuck off, dude. Yeah. Like, Fuck off. Genuinely, like, it's 270 a year I pay for it. You get it for nothing. What do you get? What's your What's your perks? You pick your alley seat. You don't have to pay for it. Um, priority, security, and speed lane to get in the hotel. I get that in the, way, yeah. you, you get that? Yeah. And then you get to pick any seat and you can bring bags on. It doesn't cost you any money. Fuck sake. Fuck sake. Easy to have membership. It's free. Motherfucker. I'm raging right now. I want to see the benefits. We need to Google on. what we actually can get you. <laughs> yeah, we really do. We Go really cl- do. And then see if I can benefit from <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, see what you can get from it as well. Um, yeah, um... My wife, I only started working, um, so the Ari Citizens Army did assemble it in Liberty Hall. <laughs> Glad they took part in that there, William. Was John Bishop, a- John Bishop, yeah. fucking he's telling the truth. John Bishop just got back from the Google room to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the Google room is in Twinbrook. <laughs> yeah, the room. Well, fucking now, have you ever when staying in a hotel anything proper mental? Yes, loads of fucking proper mental stuff. But the best one, the funniest one that I'll tell was I bought a pizza in a hotel and brought it back to the room. Like refused it. You no, know when you're that drunk, you're like, I want to sit down and eat this properly in my room. Yeah. Yeah. And you're smelling it. Do you do the, you wee fat boy, the wee fat boy run? You, where you're like, mm. No, I couldn't run. I could barely walk this night, right? So <laughs> I brought the, the pizza and I got into the lift with it and I must have fell asleep against the door. <laughs> so when the lift door open, I went flying forward and the pizza flew out of the box and hit the fucking wall. <laughs> but then I hit the fucking wall and then I looked down and the pizza had just slid down the fucking wall. So there's a big circle and then the tomato, right? So the next day, I came down and I fucking was over with my mates and stuff. And <laughs> I walked out into the pool and the wee girl at the reception went, uh, I know you use boys in Belfast like wall murals, but I didn't know you were going to put one up on ours. And I said, what do you mean? And she says, she showed me the video of me coming out of the lift and the pizza, but it stuck to the wall and then slid down the gut. She says, but we have bats on. She says, I fucking 20 quid that you fucking, you yeah, the pizza. And I went, I can't remember. And she went, go and check. And I went up and the box was empty. <laughs> you dirty bastard. I had the polish. Get yeah, wall pizza. I had fucking wall slid <laughs> down. God knows what was stuck to it. <laughs> but it was the fucking, the wall was destroyed. It was just, and there was an imprint on my head as well. Like fucking there and then that. It looked like a Banksy. <laughs> a pizza Banksy. <laughs> it looked like if fucking somebody was murdered against the wall. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because just a big fucking red and then Jesus bits of mushroom and all stuck yeah. down the wall. That's what happened when someone gets shot, the mushrooms fly out of them. What, what are you, you laughing at? <laughs> no, He's but... chuckling in the corner and I don't trust him. Chuckle, brother. It's just a. Uh, um... A page on the EasyJet website just called Autism. Um, <laughs> no, Is Willie's face on it? <laughs> no, underneath it, it just says unlimited free date changes, upfront seats, and speedy boarding. They like, get on. You have no idea how much money that would save me. Uh, that's that's for autism. So you don't have autism. I'm out. Well, I, I can <laughs> learn. <laughs> Listen, I can learn. That's what I said. Act the cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'll bring a wee train set onto the plane. Fine. No one will. Tr- no one will argue. Then there's a page special assistance. It doesn't say anything about membership or not. But you <laughs> Phone them up. Uh, yeah. Genuinely, I was talking to a fella in the front because I booked the front for these seats. Anyway, mm-hmm. I booked them all. You like that legroom? Extra hold allowance. So I special just booked assistance. the front seats. I, so I'm in one F. Every flight to get on, I'd be annoyed if I can't get that seat. Right. One F. Is that a superstition thing or just what you nah, like? Nah, it's just it's the only plug on the fucking airplane. Right, okay. I okay. know where the wee plug hole is. All right. So I can plug shit in when I'm on the plane. Okay, that's, that's actually that's very clever. I know it is. I'll give you that. Um, but uh, so I sit there and then I normally just leave them two seats. Just have them so nobody sits there because it's just annoying. No. Right. Do you know what I mean? Oh, so you book two seats and no one sits next to you? Yeah. You're a wanker, man. And I booked the three of them in Fucking the membership. Fucking dickhead, like. So I get them at a cheap rate now. You're such an arsehole. 
Forget who he is. No, oh, forget where you fucking came from. You're bringing Polly up those seats. seats. Uh, there's been See, at that point, book a flight on British But do you know what I've done? Do you know what I've done? I have let Book a nice seven. plane. No people that's on the plane and you meet them and they're nice. No, before you get on, you go, jump in there and they go, somebody say that. No, they're my seats. <laughs> and then you can continue your conversation. Yeah. Or you can lie down. Somebody's yeah. gonna be like, God, oh, you need a big free seat to fit your fucking arse in. <laughs> there was a fella fucking sit down in one, and I, I didn't want him sitting there, so I said to him, you can't sit down, he went, there's nobody sitting there, and he says, it's fuck off. <laughs> hey, I'm on, man. Such a see, see if you have to book, like, no um, music equipment as well. Oh. No, and I think you have, you have to, to book, book a seat. It, and you have to book it under, like, Mr. Guitar. Do you actually? Yeah. So do you bring it up, set it down, or kind of go in the hope? No, it has to go on the seat. And you like put the belt around it. Put the belt around it. That's right. Put the dagger. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> one seat for me. One seat for that dagger. That's handheld luggage. Let's be honest. <laughs> That's the sense. It's not needing to go down in the old. Yeah, you only two seats for your dick. Excuse me. Can you stick that in there? See if it fits in there. Maybe I can fit twenty of them in there. <laughs> As you go over to the other side of the plane, it just tips over. <laughs> Small uh, under seat bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's the thing I did you so hard. Your cock side just on the other seat. It would be mad to have a cock like that, wouldn't it? Like you would, you would bag a verbal, just drive down the road with it, hang it over the door, wouldn't you? Oh, I'd just swing it like Thor's hammer and just fly with it. Do you know what I mean? Just big heavy cock. That's what I do with it. Big heavy cock and you would fly with it? Yeah, have you ever seen Thor's Aye. hammer, the way he swings it and then like throws it? Right. So he flies in the momentum of it. So you would swing your knob and then swing hold my, on to it until yeah. it fucking gets you. You'd probably get here Make quicker. Make it yeah. you probably would get here quicker than fucking in your hey, Agna Cunt car. I was here first today. Oh, you made sure of it, didn't you? I did. I did. See, it's achievable. I'm not, I'm not going to Actually, no, I was in a big big because I was coming out of PT, so I was like, fuck, I really, really need to hurry. PT is the Protestant version of yeah. the Fianna. Um, yeah. Yeah. Protestant it's my training. Protestant trainer. Protestant training, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's like full What's a leg? Like? Like, cunt, training. cunt. Yeah. What's a leg? Like? Just learn to play the flute. Right. Learn how to march, which is taking me some time, but I'm getting there. <laughs> um, you learn to just hate gays. Um, Protestants don't hate gays, do they? The religious side of it, do the loyalist ones, not really, but the. Because the loyalists are all gay. Do not. <laughs> 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 Only the ones that went to prison. Um, That's not gay. <laughs> it's just there was no women available. <laughs> and then what they said to us in Turkey, do you remember? Your man in Turkey said that to us. In the winter we ride the men because no women. The fuck did you just go in Turkey? In Turkey? They can, it's a fucking thing. Like shepherds and Turkey, fucking... Turkey's t- a gay bar in the town. <laughs> Tur- in Turkey, they, they were saying... Do you know why you go in the bars and they're torching our lulls and all and they're trying to touch for our lulls and all? Hello, yep. my darling, and all that there. In the winter, most of the fucking gay guys go and they do it with them and say, Hello, my darling. And I'm like, What do you mean? And they're like, Well, we may have sex with men in the winter. We're not gay, but we just do it for the money. And I'm like, No, it's fucking gay if you do it. No, it's not. We aren't gay. We have wives. No, I was like, Where are the women in the winter? They live up in mountains. Women or? aren't allowed to work on bars or anything. You not see women working in bars yeah. or you know anything like that. There's wait, no like, wait, wait an odd home. an odd fucking woman doing a belly dance and stuff. But it's a weird fucking society. Like yeah. they're allowed to cut you over there, but they're not allowed to stab somebody to death. What's the level? So they're allowed to like slice you a bit. Yes. Make if we... you do something on somebody, if you annoy them, you're allowed to slice them, but you can't stab them to death. I don't hate that word. I don't hate it. It's a real Protestant thing to say. Not really, man. Like, not you really. should be allowed to fucking slice a few fiends. Like, no, no, I mean? not even fiends. Just, do you know what I mean? See, if you, when you're in the garage and someone in front of you has two weeks worth of shopping, I'm like, this is slice. But, but be what careful what you wish for, William. <laughs> 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 that's, that's test that theory of yours. <laughs> I don't hate you. I'm yeah. just... Bur- I'm just sitting here looking like a fucking donner. Burnsy would fucking, like, half, have half of Belfast cut. Oh, we'd be dead There's, by um, there's a guy You'd be called, dead five There's a guy like, called yeah. Frankie McDonald in Canada and he's all over Instagram and uh, he's the fucking Canadian Connor Burns. It's so fucking funny and he's fucking getting massive. He is fucking getting huge. He's just brilliant this Hey videos. guys, I want to say hello to everyone out there in Ottawa. In Where's Toronto. all my sexy ladies, eh? <laughs> it's just, he, he comes on and he goes Show me your rehearsal and tits, eh? He goes uh, <laughs> <laughs> he comes out and he goes uh, here I'm going to do a, a thing I'll put it up 
Does that make Oliver? He has 323. Christy Moore? He has 300, 323. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a song for you here. <laughs> it's about the man. My lovely lady, Alexandra Burke. <laughs> hey everybody, I hey know this guy. guy. I'm going to make an announcement. I'll be on Bass Guy Show on Friday, October the 20th, 2020. Oh, I am. 9 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Late. Well, looks like a I'd, I'd turn around and say, okay, guys, let's do some dancing. Yes, he's been about for years, this guy. I fucking love him. You love nothing more than a week video of a mental comp, like, you love it. That's me. Really want to be at right now for fight down. What's your breakfast? Scramble eggs and bacon. We had that flipping yesterday. Fuck. She's just doing the boogie on it. But, um, yeah, so the Canadian Connor Burns. Yeah. You want to meet him when you're over in Canada? He's probably going to fall out with me. Are you looking forward to tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. I'm nervous, very nervous, but very excited. Doing the, doing the All-Star Hall? Yeah. Mel- mental. So I remember seeing you do it. Because I remember when you were doing it, we were like, it's fucking insane. The thing for me now is it doesn't feel, because everyone else is doing massive shows, it doesn't feel... A special? Huge. Well, it is. But it's, it's, it's I was, okay. I it's talking fucking, about supporting Don it, Nightingale. It's like... What's that? I was talking about supporting Don Nightingale. Which is, <laughs> which is fucking mental that you're doing that on the same night you're saying. Like, what was said to me was, Willie will do anything to get on and have a word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sucking off Don Nightingale. Listen, two of us are available. Yeah. They're not double pa- they're double not package. Double package. Double package. Double package. Yeah. Double package. Um, have we're, a word. We're both over in Liverpool in the, in the next year as well. I'm there in January. I'm there in March. I'll fly him over. Yeah. Won't cost me much. Fuck all, you get free membership. Though. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I just take one of your three seats that you fucking pick. Yeah. <laughs> the most cunty thing I can't get over that. <laughs> the fact that you believe that's even better. I do, I think, I think we it's true, the, and now you're backtracking we, we, we know, we went to Glasgow last week with Podrick, and the whole front was all empty. And a fella got on, he went, see, you booked all the fucking seats in the front, Polly, again. Like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I do that every time. And then Podrick was like, Really? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you go over and sit in the ones over there. Yeah. And he's like, do you want me to? And I was like, no, you can sit beside me, it's all right. <laughs> but he did believe it, he did believe that I booked it all. <laughs> <laughs> so it just sounds good. But I, I went down the plane. Every, everybody in the plane was like, what a cunt, he booked all fucking six seats across the front. Honestly, if someone told me that it does seem the kind of thing you'd do. Fuck off. It does. <laughs> Definitely not. You're a lovely fella, but you would do that. You would do that. No, I wouldn't. You would. No, I, I fuck. I on. would believe you would do that, and also buy everyone on the plane a beer. You would do both of those things. No, I fucking wouldn't. <laughs> hey, well, if you're on the plane with them, bought, asking for a I beer. I have bought drink for people on the plane. that yeah. that, that, that asked me for a drink. I did buy them. I would do the same. I would do the same. Especially Actually, you can't even afford a fucking seat. I can't afford. You staying in hostels? Because you're there for a night. Like even if I can afford a nice hotel, I will stay in a hostel. That, that, that doesn't make sense. You're there for one night, man. Jim, there's no point. You're barely in the room. When you're you're there. a wee pervert. You're in. You're one. I mean, I'm, yeah, that's me jacking you're off in fucking hostels. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's cheaper, and I'm a cheap bastard when I need to be. No, but one of um, one of the fellas in my band got fucking beat up. We were staying in a hostel in, in Bondorn. Like <laughs> this fellow, like I forget. Where that's not from. a hostel. That's yeah. a fucking immigration center. <laughs> <laughs> That's there's no hostels there's no hotels in Ireland anymore it's all immigration centres I, I, the money that's been spent and like I'm not years, I'm right? not slabbering about immigration because I'm 100% behind if they want to open up the borders and take the Palestinian people to Ireland I would 100% take them I'm not because the Irish people have been all around the world so I'm not against that I'm loving the terms and conditions you put on to that there just, just, by the way by the way guys it's Ireland so I believe. That, I know you're not. That one, I, I think what's happening in Gaza just a fucking. I know we're a comedy podcast, but I just think it's a fucking disgrace. Yeah, I haven't watched. See, since COVID, it's, I've it's stopped I, watching the news. It, it's 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 fucking horrendous. And not listen. What Hamas done was fucking horrendous too. But fuck me. It's just it's one of those things. You're just constantly it's it's just, on the news, geez. and you're just. I, I stop watching, and this is selfish because it makes me sad. No, it's fucking so. Terrible. You know, my bad. granny and granddad are watching these before they go to bed. I'm upstairs watching Happy Gilmore. I, I, I hate, I'm happier. I hate the fact that people here are using this point scoring. Like, really surprised at Sinn Féin for abstaining from fucking that. 
Am is there I? Bigger picture there? Not really. Well, what do you think it is? Because I don't know what it is, but I it, don't know what it is. But, but they do a political fucking thing. They like, have a history of you know abstaining I, or what going I, against things you think they'd vote for. What I think it's to do with America, and they're getting funded by America to mm-hmm. so the money to be like, yeah. Not that they're that's funded, not, that's but like I just think that they want to fuck them off. I just don't think I they want to fuck them off. I don't think that's a bad trick. I would say I'd be disappointed in them for that. For not, but that's politics for you. Yeah, know? they're not going to give a fuck. I'm disappointed in them either. Well, but I'm disappointed in them. Are you still going to vote them, though? No, no, I think I'll go uh, TUV this year. And that's going to gonna be, yeah, because they're very pro-Palestine, TUV. Oh, 100%. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> I love telling people I vote TUV. Jim, Jim McDonald, a.k.a. Charlie Lawson. Oh, I've seen what you. A You're fucking, turning into such a wee face. What a that. fucking prick, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fit him in the Charlie Box match, even though he's older than me. He's a fucking prick. And he put you, you up and he says, he put up and said, if you, ha- if you support Palestine, you support Hamas. That is not fucking true. That is a false statement. Cunts yeah. like that are dangerous. Yeah. Because people then go, oh, Fenians are cunts. Well, yeah, well, that's what that's what politics in this country is entirely Fucked. based on. Fucked. Because you got the minute you argue a good point, someone will go, well, fucking Fuck. this, and you're like, I am talk about what I'm talking about. Pro please. fucking life, pro human, pro fucking all that. There, you're pro life. Bro. Well, you know what I mean. Not, <laughs> not the adoption, not the abortion. Adoption. <laughs> I mean, you're all. Oh, I love this. <laughs> My adoption papers, my choice. Yeah. I mean, what's, like, what's your thoughts I'm, on I'm Palestine? Just, just no saying, abortions. I don't that's what want I think. people dying, and I don't yeah. care. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm trying to get across. Yeah, I know what you mean. Do you know? It, mean. It's just seeing people dying. It's just fucking pointless. Yeah, over yeah. fucking land and oil and money and fucking yeah. shit. And I hate that. Like, I don't watch it, but it's fucking. I just can't take being that upset. Yeah, going to bed. So I'm like, I'm just fucking. I'm not gonna. I, I love. And even on that, online, online, everyone. Talking about they're just so it, angry. It, it, There's it, no discussion. People are saying ghost it, ghost it, ghost it, but it's fucking hard to. Yeah, it's hard to. Yeah, I love the fact that your granny and grandma are sitting there like, oh, did you see that vote in the in the European Parliament there? That's, yeah. that's well. And, and I'm sitting there being like, you eat pieces of shit for breakfast. <laughs> you're like, did you just order a kebab or what? Happy learn how to put. So just tap it in, tap it, and who's happier? Fucking me. They're going to bed with at a family of five. We're dead. We're dead, and I'm going to bed with a fucking. What's the happy. wrestling from 98 again? Fucking right. Bushwhackers. Fucking Bushwhackers right. are all over my fucking Insta, and I don't know why. <laughs> are they? I fucking love it, too. What a weird. The just the Bushwhackers just coming up in different formats, and there's a green scheme with the Bushwhackers and all. <laughs> <laughs> and Vince McMahon fucking crying. That's coming up. I and love that. Yeah. It's just the captions over. It's just like, what was gaming like in lockdown? He's like. I was gutted because they were going to put out a Netflix documentary about him that made it and then he got accused of like sexual inappropriate behaviour oh was he at it was he at it oh line? yes he's been at it Ballets. He's, so many in power was fucking yeah. touching people yeah. up and fucking wanking them. yeah yeah. that's when people like a couple of Vince McMahon was a bit of a bastard he is the bastard but an amazing promoter but the his dad was a bigger bastard horrendous mmm mmm you his, like actual, his actual dad not <laughs> really his stepdad was horrendous the one that was a promoter Vince okay, that's his actual dad yeah he yeah. was okay mm. he fucking he uh, sacked Hulk Hogan yeah for starring in Rocky yep oh Vince sacked people for a way less than that and his son was sacking people in a different way his, his son was yeah, <laughs> yeah. team yeah. bacon as we yeah. call it Vince was a ruthless promoter see if you were even in the same state running a wrestling show he tried to bankrupt you mm. he wanted to be the only the only one very could do this all day but uh, I love how we went from you know what's happening in Gaza <laughs> to Vince McMahon some business man so he Bushwaggers <laughs> the Bushwaggers <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah I know what you mean it's hard to ign- not ignore it but like to not see any of it because it, even there's posts on there anything would be like on this day 23 years ago the Spice Girls released and people were like talk about Palestine and you're like fuck me I went down to do Darn's gig on Sunday night and I was going to do a whole bit and I was started into it and then my ball strap about like immigration and migrants and people dying and I was like going to do this whole bit about how um Musa isn't it Musad? isn't it the the Mossad Mossad how they killed fucking Chandler Bing from Friends Fuck. to fucking take yeah, the limelight. Yeah. 
the ADF killed them to take the fuck and the, the the whole pressure off off their media like it's something they would do. Do you know what I mean? Oh, they are complaining too much. Let's kill somebody. Who I completely kill? forgot about that. Kill Chandler Bing. <laughs> Could I yeah. be anymore? <laughs> I also love the conspiracy being like, oh, you know, was the vaccine got him? I'm like, don't know. Maybe the guy who died several times and had serious years of drug abuse, maybe his heart wasn't the best. Maybe it wasn't the strongest fucking heart. What attack. did he die of? Drowned in a hot tub. What they think happened was he had a heart attack and then drowned in the hot tub. In the Galgorn? Very yeah. fucking the rabbit. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's. it's, it's that sounds a bit sus to me. Do you know what I mean? It's not like he killed himself. By sounds killing himself a bit sus to me. That definitely sounds like the Jews done it. Yeah. <laughs> what has God done to him today? Mossad is not boy, Jews. Like... Can people fucking stop this all? <laughs> if you say one thing about a country, it's all Jews. It's not. <laughs> Jesus was a Jew. I fucking think. <laughs> I think Jesus was soon. This but... is the fucking Glenn episode all over again. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably going to leave Jews alone for fuck's sake fuck's sake leave Jews alone is right <laughs> hate crime and Jews has went up because of this and it's a fucking another fucking uh, bollocks like but, like and there is people that don't get it though as well and can't separate Jewish people from Israel so they're going to say the art from the artist <laughs> but even Israeli fucking Orthodox Jews Zanus and Michael Jackson yeah. there's well, a lot of them are against what's happening the Palestinians and stuff but it's just yeah. uh, but it's like no you pick a side and you pick a side but that, that, that's what you know when people who don't research politics or read into a situation and they want to seem like they know about it we'll just go well this is my side so that's why I think the whole Sinn Féin thing happened because like that Tory gets sacked from his fucking cabinet position because he, he says a ceasefire yeah. so that to me just yeah. says it shows you how much power like America and Israel have yeah. around the world but, uh, oh, yeah. see as an example of people like not separating like Zionism and like Israel from Jewish people my German mate was over oh fuck don't mention the Germans um, <laughs> don't mention the German I brought him down what did they do? This, no we're just going down a whole fucking no, rabbit hole here now this is horrible. I brought him down Chippy right and um, and he went to order and he says what What do I get you know and I was just saying just ask for a battered sausage or whatever you know and um, he went up and ordered and your mum was like fuck that song accent you have on you kid he's like where are you from and he's like from Germany and he's like oh from Germany fucking right bro and he, he was like maybe I show you something and he brought him like in the back into the kitchen and he had like a big Hezbollah flag up like and Palestinian flags and he's like look at that bro Hezbollah fucking like em can't them what usins couldn't fucking get done and get them Jews fucking killed Jesus Christ, dude's you're, just looking at Parsley Bob. You're not fucking helping my fucking that not everybody in Republican areas is supporting <laughs> fucking thing. And I the just, fucking Chippy <laughs> out the back is a strain to his blood. And Walked I, out the back, there was 20 fucking guys fucking in a fucking Hezbollah outfit. There was somebody dressed up in Derry as fucking Hezbollah. What, the wee Russian kid? That's Hezbollah, sorry. I'm very, I'm very informed. And I just found someone went to him. I just found. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what did he get, man? He got butter sausage. What do you think of it? He says, like, your mom's a cunt, but the fuck butter sausage. He could have fucking sausage. Where was the chippy? I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly. It was the shagger, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, no, it was the shagger. What's up with the shagger? You know exactly. Fuck you, Darnell! <laughs> <laughs> You owe me 20 pounds, the cat! <laughs> you know exactly what chippy I go to. Uh, <laughs> is, it, is it near? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll not be back there for a while. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking funny. See, wait, them am Do you want chips? <laughs> Something! I hit. Wait, them Zanis, scum off a fish, something! <laughs> So I fucking Hitler never finished the job. <laughs> it was a red right idea, sauce. Here, kid, see you later. <laughs> Come back next time. <laughs> it's like the priest in uh, the, the fucking dead. the fucking the buttered sausage wrapped up in a fucking sheets of fucking man kampf. <laughs> No, like the, the priest that like says he collects World War Two memorabilia. <laughs> so it's just so sauce. Sauce. <laughs> yeah. Do you know that Swatzigas was a saying a piece? 
Yeah, it yeah. still is. Hint, like, uh, was it hit Hendrik? the button. No, no, it wasn't. It was Hendrik. Hit the button there. I think I'd say for us to fucking call it. In, in Ari- am, I, am I wrong? There was right? an Irish laundry called the Swatchigal Laundry. Swatchigal? Swastika Laundry? Yes. Jesus and Christ. it had the saying and all on it. And it was set up by Charlie. And the fans and all used to drive about with Swastikas. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. I fucking got that quick. The Swastika Laundry was an Irish business founded in 1912 on the Shelburne Road, a district of du- Dublin. Due to its name and logo being associated with the Nazi party in Germany, the name was changed in 1939, but their logo endured. And it's like a literal fucking swastika. Bro, like, why are you going through a rebrand and no one's changing the fucking logo? <laughs> yeah, just well, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. the fucking symbol. Yeah. <laughs> like Prince fucked up. Didn't he fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> the symbol looks like symbol an looks ancient fine. symbol of good luck and that's why the two was... Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> is it Hindi, is it? But people, yeah. people thought that... Do you get what I mean? Yeah, that's no, one of them ones I tell people and they go, fuck off. Yeah, no, that I would have... Uh, no, John no, basically be like, fuck away off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what time are we on there, Sean? Good All good I can good. say is the laundry used to make your clothes very white. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's us. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much for joining us this week. Girl, me la Yep. Yeah, uh, our tour dates are on sale. I'm doing Glasgow, Edinburgh, Liverpool. You know them all. You know the dates. Newcastle. Da-na-na-na. Glasgow and Newcastle Da-na-na. sell them very well. Edinburgh, okay. Liverpool. I'm in Derry tomorrow so. night in the Millennium Forum, which is possibly sold out right now. Um, awesome. You're in the Ulster Hall, which tomorrow is sold night. out. Sold right out. Right. Yeah. right now. Two weeks ago. Um, then I'm back. Oh, I'm in Dublin on the 12th of November. <laughs> Still a handful of tickets left in the Laughter Lounge. And then I am in... Where am I, Willie? The 29th of December, I'm back in the Millennium Forum for the second show, which is nearly sold out. Uh, we'll have loads of Christmas shows coming up. I'm going to take Willie with me and a couple of them, if he's about. And I'm in the Monkey Barrel on the 19th of January. Lovely venue. Yes, 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 yes. See you later. Thank you very much. I feel